Hey everybody, I'm back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial for you. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create still images from any frame of your video. And then secondly, I'm going to show you a different way to create still images and how to use those in your videos. So the first way is very quick and easy. We have a video here and let's say you wanted to capture a still image. Uh, let's say right there. You wanted to make that into a still image. It's very simple. All you need to do on that frame is to come up here to where it says share, click on share, and then just simply click save current frame. And then you can choose, do you want to save it as a JPEG file, a PNG file, a TIFF, or even a Photoshop file. I'm going to go ahead and save as a JPEG file. And then it's also got the summary right here. So it'll tell you the dimensions and frame rate. Uh, frame rate doesn't matter actually because it's going to be an image, but it tells you the dimensions and may tell you the file size. In this case, it's not, but we're going to save it as a JPEG. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and click next. And I'll save it on the desktop and just name it uh, image five and then just click save. And there we go. Now we have an image. I'll go ahead and open that image real quick and show you what it looks like as an image. So here we go. I opened up that image, image 5.jpg, and remember that's what it looks like in Final Cut Pro 10 on the still frame, and then here's what it looks like saved as an image, and we now have a JPEG file of that actual frame. So then we can use that. We could import that back into our uh, video if we wanted to or use it somewhere else. It's an actual image file now uh, or use it in another program. It's really cool. So that's one way. That's the easy way to do it. Again, you just uh, stop the video on any frame that you want and then click share and from there you just click save current frame and you save it as an image file. So next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually um, do this within Final Cut Pro 10 and actually use an image in your video on the timeline. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We have uh, the video here of the guy kayaking and I'm actually going to um, I've clicked on the video and I'm kind of in the middle part because this is the area I want to save as an image. So I'm going to set an in point and an out point. So what I'm going to do is click I to set an in point and, and then I'm going to I'm hitting the right arrow just a little bit I'm going to set, uh, hit O to set the out point. So you see it made that selection. It selected just what I um, selected by doing the in point and out point. So now we have a little selection. So now I'm just going to drag that down to our timeline. And there we go. Let me make this a little bit larger. So if we go here, I'm going to click play. You know, it's nothing nothing new right now, still video. So what we're going to do next, I've selected that clip that we just added. So I'm going to come over here and click this button right here, which is a retime button. So I'm going to click retime and then click on hold. Okay, so hold. Watch what happens to this click, uh, clip here when I click on hold. Boom. So what it did was this green bar right here you see it's got a green bar right there and a green bar right there and then a red bar in the middle the red bar is the hold so the green bar is the video playing that's the first part of the video so it's going to play and then hold that frame so watch I'm, I'll click play it's going to play for a second it holds that frame and then keeps playing so that is actually one cool effect you can do if you want to hold a certain frame uh, for a little bit and then let it keep playing. You can do that. But I'm going to show you how to make it so it's just the hold, just the um, uh, the image capture without the video at all. So if we click on the green bar, it selects that. Just hit delete. That gets rid of that one. Click on the green video bar right here, same thing, and hit delete. Now we just have, see right here, we just have the hold. Let me move it over a little bit. So watch what happens. I'm going to click play. As soon as it hits this clip, it's just going to be an image freeze, a still. Watch. 
see and then it goes back to playing the video below it now the other cool thing you can do is if you click in this area right here let me move this over a little bit more if you click in this area right here hold your left mouse button down and drag it over you can make that longer or shorter so you can actually have it uh, be a still frame for as long as you want just by dragging it out so watch as soon as it hits that it holds on that still frame until the end and then goes back to playing the video below so that is how you can create images from still frames and also use those images within Final Cut Pro 10 with some cool uh, variations so let me know if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and message me on YouTube if there's anything that you want to see in terms of tutorials and then also we have our website link below make sure and check that out if you want more advanced training for Final Cut Pro 10 and I'll be back very soon with another video thanks for watching